Alright, good morning everyone and welcome to what I call another BS level in the Crash Bandicoot series so far. Um, this is like my seventh run and uh, yeah, I've been at this for about an hour. I got to the end and I missed one box, so that's, uh, you know, the usual, the usual Crash Bandicoot experience. If you guys see my, uh, I can't remember which other, one of the other videos I got, uh, I missed one box too, so yeah. That's fun. But I pretty much know this level more or less like the back of my hand now, so. That's good. That's always good to know. Um, I'll be calling out where the, uh, you know, harder boxes to get are, where the ones that are out of the screen are, so the usual. Okay. And I will keep a box counter every checkpoint. So right here we have 33. We uh, have our jet ski part of the level, like we had in the old Crash Bandicoot games, so nothing too difficult for the first one. Uh, on your left here, there will be a tape. I've already gotten it, so it's right there. Okay, right now we have 42. We're going to hit the uh, bonus round. Okay, for this, we're going to hit this TNT. We're going to sit on it for a second or two. Move on. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just gonna hit that and move straight across. Sit on this one for one or two seconds. And there you go. That is the bonus round. Simple as that. We have 71 boxes right now. This is where most people will die. I died a lot my first time here, but it gets uh, progressively easier the more you do it, obviously. As, as everything does, you know, the more you do it, the easier it is. I'm just gonna spin that and jump over. Uh, we have 83. Now, this mask you wanna try and keep for the, the rest of the level, if, if, uh, if you can. Um, there is a boss fight, uh, if you want to call it that, a mini boss fight at the end. It's that big fish there in the background. Spoiler alert. Oh, well, there goes the mask. Alright, for these two, I like to hit these side ones before hitting the middle one. I've died too many times to not sliding through all three. It's, it's tragic. It's absolutely tragic, because you're just sitting there underneath the steel box waiting to die. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not fun, dude. I like to spin that top one just so you can start bouncing on the uh, bottom one and get ready for the uh, platform. Right, when you get to here, you're going to one jump back and up onto this to get the hidden gem. Okay. All right, right here we have 108 boxes. That dude has a very good reach to stay really far away. Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. All right, right here we have 117 boxes. Uh, I'm gonna link my uh, where to find the green gem up in the top right corner. So if you guys haven't got it yet, go check that video out. It's about 40 seconds. Uh, and it is on the hit the road mission. That is the green gem path. We have 139. All right, when you get to here, we're gonna be phasing stuff in and out. 
the usual. So just be careful. The jumps aren't too hard, but uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on on your screen. Okay, do not face the boxes just yet. Destroy these, and there is a jump box. There are two boxes up here. One and two. So get both of those. All right, for this part, we're going to phase that box in. We're going to jump on top of it, and then phase the bottom one in. That'll spawn another mask. We're going to want that. And we want the box also. All right, this guy's going to throw a bone. Okay. So that box phases in and out. Okay. You have a TNT box here. There you go. This guy's going to throw the bone over your head, so don't really worry about that. You can phase these in. Now, I don't know if when you phase these in and out, if they kill you. I know they don't kill the boxes, but I, I really don't want to try it out. Okay. Alright. Hit that TNT and move on. Okay, when you hit this checkpoint, you will have 173, 174. Now, you're going to want to try and get those dudes to bait into the mines. If you can, that's great. They'll pretty much, they'll follow you forever if you don't. More or less forever. Okay, don't hit the box, that's fine. See, this is going to be tough because of that... Both of these dudes are going to chase me now. We're going to try our best to avoid them. You're going to want to do that a lot better than I did. But if it works, it works. Alright, we're going to try to get them to come at you as the mine is closer to them on the right. There we go. Stick to your right. Okay, so this last one will pretty much always chase you. So we're going to stay to our left. We're going to bring him all the way back and then boost around him. Like so. Now the mine. Watch out for the mine. Watch out for the riptide. Okay, I somehow did it out of sheer luck. All right, when you're here, you have 190, 194. Now, I died here. Um... But if you have both masks, or at least one mask, this will make a boss fight a lot easier. Okay. You're going to want to bait those guys into hitting the tentacles, or the tentacles hitting them. Okay. Not three. Oh, no. Didn't count for him for some reason. There you go. You pretty much have to keep moving. There's going to be three tentacles now, so this is where it's going to get a little bit more tricky. If you're lucky, you'll you'll destroy one straight off the bat. And a second one. Oh, I did, did, did destroy. And there you go. That is the boss fight. And now we can move on. And there you go. That is the 100% boss run, level run, whatever you call it for this level. This took me one whole hour to get right. But there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let's keep on going.